Hello, I'm Alistair from AES Seal, and in the next few minutes we're going to be looking at one of the key stages in dry gas seal production, the assembly and balancing of the rotating parts which together are commonly referred to as the rotor. As always, please remember to click subscribe to see new AES Seal content as soon as it's released. The rotor of the dry gas seal is essentially all of the components that rotate during operation. A typical tandem dry gas seal rotor is comprised of the following parts. Main sleeve, inboard mating ring, spacer sleeve, outboard mating ring, retaining sleeve, secondary sealing and centering elements. The mating rings are laser grooved with the required hydrodynamic groove profile, then spin tested in a bespoke test rig. All mating rings are tested to 122% the stated maximum continuous speed of the dry gas seal for a minimum of one minute. This test ensures that the mating rings retain integrity during operation. Before being installed in the main cartridge assembly, all rotating parts of the dry gas seal are assembled together. The rotor assembly is then secured to a test shaft and installed within the dry gas seal rotor balancing machine. The rotor assembly is operated dynamically and readings recorded that show areas of unbalance within the rotor. This information allows material to be removed from the rotor to achieve the required balance grade. All dry gas seal rotors at AAS seal are balanced to the required ISO certification. Once the rotor has been successfully balanced, it is carefully dismantled and then reassembled into the main dry gas seal cartridge. We will cover this process in depth in future videos. If you enjoyed this video, hit the like button. Don't forget to subscribe to see new AES Seal content as soon as it's released. And you can also check us out at aesseal.com.